came into India as an alien product as one of the benefits of the British rule. East India Company was ruling the country and it was not favorable to have the press for the Indians to serve their own interests. Press in India was controlled by Englishmen during the East India Company rule and the James Augustus Hickey is the first person who launched his uh, first newspaper that is called as Bengal Gadget. That was started on January 29th, 1780 in Calcutta as a two-sheet weekly paper. It declared itself as a weekly political and commercial paper open to all parties but influenced by none. It printed items taken from English newspaper at home letter from local and official readers and items of gossips and scandals of interest to the European community. The Bengal Gadget was the forerunner of many journals and newspapers which appeared in Calcutta and the birthplace of journalism in India. Within six years of Hickey's venture, there were four weeklies and a monthly a newspaper also started in the city. Uh, in Madras, the Madras Courier was launched as a weekly in 1785. Later on, the Indian Herald also launched. And there was no newspaper in Bombay until 1789 when Bombay Herald was started. Later on, it merged into the Bombay Gazette in 1791 and became as a official publication. James Silk Buckingham, he is also one of the pioneers and he came to India in 1818 as the editor of Calcutta Chronicle and which was started by some Calcutta merchants to propagate their views and protect their interests. And the first issue appeared on the streets of Calcutta was on October 2nd, 1818, indicated that it would be a chronicle of political, commercial, and literary news and views. Raja Ram Mohan Rai, he is a social reformer. He also described as uh, by the Jawaharlal Nehru as the founder of Indian press. He was born in a Brahmin family and he learned Persian, Arabic, and Sanskrit and also English. He founded uh, the Sambat Kaumudi. The meaning of Sambat Kaumidi is Moon of Intelligence in 1821 in Calcutta. Due to the success of another river, Samachar Chandrika, Rai was forced to close it down in uh, the year 1822, but it was revived uh, the next following year. So Raja Ram Mohan Rai also started a newspaper in Persian that is called Miratul Akbar. Mirror of News in 1822, but uh, it was shut down in 1823 in protest against the press regulations of 1823. Raja Ram Mohan Roy uh, stood for the freedom of the press in our country. The first Indian owned English daily, the Bengal Gadget, was published in Calcutta in the year 1816 by Gangadhar. Bata Charji, teacher who was influenced by Raja Ram Mohan Roy's teachings. So Raja Ram Mohan Roy also started a Persian weekly, Miratul Akbar, for the benefit of Indians not conversant with English or Bengali. Raja Ram Mohan Roy also started uh, the another religious periodical called the Brahmanical Magazine to counterattack the missionaries which used to promote the religious propaganda. In April 1818, William Corey and John Clark Marshman established Friend of India, an English monthly, which was later bought by Robert Knight, founder of Statesman. The same proprietors were the owners of Bengali newspaper called Samachar Darpan, which besides being a vehicle of missionary propaganda specialized in publishing district news, which made it popular among the official and educated Indians. To see the role of press in uh, freedom struggle, James Augustus Hickey is uh, considered as the father of Indian press because he is the one who started the first newspaper in our country. 
He started the Bengal Gazette in January 1780, but it was seized later by the British government. With increasing the number of newspapers, the government became accountable, and therefore it brought into action several acts in order to suppress the press. The newspapers were started publishing. The British government could not digest as it will evoke the sentiments of the people to the freedom struggle. They started uh, initiating various press acts to suppress the press in our country. So freedom of the press of utmost importance as it was a powerful tool to propagate political ideas. In the year 1824, Raja Ram Mohan Rai had protested against resolution which was passed by the British government to restrict the freedom of the press. The early phase of the nationalist movement from around uh, 1870 to 1918 focused more on political propaganda and education, formation and propagation of nationalist ideology, training, mobilization and consolidation of public opinion in our Indian society. The Indian newspapers uh, became highly critical of Lord Lytton administration during uh, 17, 1870s, especially regarding its inhuman treatment of victims of the famine of 1876 and 77. The government struck back with the Vernacular Press Act of 1878. The Vernacular Press Act of 1878 was formulated to control the vernacular press. In 1883, Surendranath Banerjee became the first Indian journalist to be imprisoned. Bal Gangadhar Tilak, also one of the prominent uh, persons, he is also a social reformer. Tilak encouraged anti-imperialist sentiments among the public through Ganapati festivals started in 1893. Shivaji festivals which started in 1896 and through the newspapers Kesari and Maharata with both Kesari and Maharata was started by the Bal Gangadhar Tilak and he was among the first to advocate the inclusion of lower middle classes, peasants, artisans and workers into the Congress. In 1896, he organized a all uh, Maharashtra campaign to boycott foreign clothing in opposition to the imposition of excise duty on cotton. In uh, 1896 and 97, he initiated a no tax campaign in Maharashtra, urging the farmers to withhold the payment of revenue if their crop failed. In 1897, plague had hit Pune and although Tilak supported government measures to arrest the plague. In 1898, the government amended Section 124A and added Section 153A, which made it a criminal offense for anyone to bring into contempt the government of India or to create hatred among different classes vis uh, vis the English in India. Due to the Swadeshi and the boycott movement and also the rise of militant nationalist trends, several repressive laws were passed by the British government to control the press in our country. When it comes to the establishment of major newspaper in our country, in India, there were uh, five English dailies which have crossed the century mark. Uh, three of them are the Amrit Bazar Patrika, the Hindu, the, uh, the Tribune and Indian owned uh, Indian edited and the other two, the Times of India and the Statesman were British owned and British edited and progressively changed into Indian hands after the India became independent in 1947. All these newspapers have played a major role in evolution and growth of Indian journalism and the Indian won't dailies made a shrinking contribution uh, in creating and nurturing the Indian nationalism and to the freedom 
स्ट्रगल वेन इट कम्स टू द अमृत बाजार पत्रिका इट इज द ओल्डेस्ट इंडियन ओन्ड डेली इट वॉज बॉर्न एज ए वीकली इन बेंगाली इन फेब्रुवरी एटीन सिक्सटी एट द आनंद प्रसार पत्रिका विच स्टार्टेड पब्लिशिंग डेली फ्रॉम फेब्रुवरी एटीन नाइनटी वन Anand Bazar Patrika also contributed its share the success of the freedom movement under the leadership of uh, Mahatma Gandhi and suffered for its views and actions at the hands of the British rulers during the freedom struggle the hindu is also one of the prominent newspapers which started uh, on september 20 1878 by Subramanya Iyer and his associates and the Hindu newspaper started as a weekly and uh, it became a daily in the year 1889 the hindu changed hands in 1905 when k ranga ayangar a lawyer brought it and became uh, its editor robert knight who is the uh, founder of the statesman in 1875 he was one of uh, the early british journalists who used to like silk buckingham and encourage critical review of the government actions and politics which set him apart from other british owned papers which while supporting the government steadfastly also indulged in denunciation of indians and especially the nationalists times of india now the times of india is the largest read english uh, newspaper in our country the times of india is the oldest uh, english uh, daily in india it is also a, a newspaper uh, which has played an important role in the development of journalism in our country robert knight became the editor of bombay times and by merging it into two other newspapers renamed it times of india in the year 1861 the first issue of the bombay times a biweekly appeared on november 3 1838 the times of india passed into indian hands in the year 1946 its sister journal illustrated weekly of india started in the year 1888 and it is today one of the major weeklies and a host of other journals in marathi hindi english and it is been uh, added to the group including the economic times which started in uh, 1916 which was the first daily dealing with financial and economic news which is published in india the tribune was uh, started as a weekly in lahore in 1881 by sardar dayal singh majithia uh, who was great admirer of raja ram mohan roy and brahma samaj brahma samaj was started by the raja ram mohan roy uh, the tribune which became a weekly newspaper in the year 19 06 when it comes to the prominent journalists of india bal gangadhar tilak bal gangadhar tilak started his own uh, newspaper called uh, maharatta and also the kesari mahatma gandhi uh, he is also one of the prominent persons uh, in the indian uh, in indian journalism mahatma gandhi started uh, his own newspapers when he returned from south africa he started uh, navajeevan of in 1919 and as a weekly in gujarati which was occasionally biweekly issues and he also started uh, young india in english in 1919 then it is also a biweekly and later it was converted as a weekly and he also started a newspaper called harijan in english it was also a weekly newspaper from 1933 after the india got independence indian press enjoyed the freedom of the press and uh, the pandit jawahar lal nehru who became the first prime minister of uh, india he was liberal who realized that for the successful functioning of a democratic society the freedom of the press is 
uh, absolute and necessary while nehru was a liberal and believed in freedom of the press shrimati indira gandhi she was authoritarian and believed in curbing the freedom of the press and mrs gandhi also imposed the emergency during 1975 and at that point of time press was under the control of the government if you see the press commissions to make a comprehensive inquiry and to examine the issues which are associated with the journalists and freedom of the press in our country to improve the standards of journalism the government of india appointed two press commissions those are the first press commission and the second press commission the first press commission was appointed in 1952 under the chairmanship of justice g s rajadeksha along with him there were 10 other members dr c p rangaswamy ayer zakir hussain v k r v rao and uh, patwardhan nataraj and chalapati rao first press commission submitted its report in the year 1954 and the press commission studied the control and management of the press in our country uh, they also studied the financial structure of the newspapers and the management practices uh, ownership patterns etc and they submitted the report in the year 1954 and made several recommendations to the government one of the major recommendations of the first press commission is to constitute the press council of india based on the recommendation of the first press commission the press council of india came to existence in our country press council of india started functioning from july 4th 1966 and it is the major autonomous body which is regulating the press in our country at present so the first press commission it submitted its report in 1954 recommended the establishment of a press council to look after the press in our country the major objectives of the press council of india should be to safeguard the freedom of the press and to help the newspapers to maintain their independence to ensure that the journalists and the newspaper maintain high standards of professional journalism to keep under review the developments which restrict the supply and dissemination of news of public interest and importance to encourage growth of a sense of responsibility and public service among all those who are engaged in the profession of journalism to study the developments in the press which may tend towards concentration or monopoly of newspapers etc and to suggest remedies thereof or uh, to improve the methods of recruitment and to provide training and education for the people who are into the profession of journalism etc commission recommended to constitute press council to regulate the press in the country and based on the recommendation of this first press commission the press council of india came to existence from 1966 onwards but during the emergency press council of india was repealed and on january 1st 1976 the press council of india was completely abolished and later press council of india came to existence and now whatever the press com- press council of india we have is based on the press council of india act of 1978 there was another commission called uh, the second press commission the second press commission was set up in may 1978 which was under the chairmanship of justice p c goswami justice goswami and his colleagues on the commission resigned in uh, january 1980 with the formation of uh, the new government and the commission was reconstituted in april 1980 under the chairmanship of justice k k matthew and its terms of the reference included uh, the role of press on the developing uh, in a developing and democratic society second uh, the present constitutional guarantee with regard to the freedom of the press and expression freedom of speech and expression 
whether this is adequate to ensure the freedom of the press or adequacy and efficacy of the laws, rules, regulations for maintaining this freedom, etc. Submitted its report uh, in uh, 1982, uh, said that the role of the press uh, in developing a democratic society should neither be that of the adversary nor an ally of government to be a mindless adversary or an unquestioning ally would be to abdicate judgment so a free press should be uh, in our view a constructive critic so the commission felt that the editors should insist on their right to have the final say or freedom of the press and uh, in rejection of advertisements, especially those cross the line between decency and obscenity, legitimize claims for a product or service and the proffering of magical remedies. So the committee said that uh, the press has to function uh, in the interest of the public to safeguard the freedom of the press in our country. To see the present uh, status of the press in our country as of uh, uh, March 2018, there are 17,573 newspapers which are registered with RNI, Registrar of Newspapers for India, and 1,666 periodicals are registered in India with the RNI, Registrar of Newspapers for India. Then it comes to the circulation of the newspapers. Uh, according to the ABC Audit Bureau of Circulation, Dainik Baskar is the largest circulated uh, Hindi daily in our country, followed by Dainik Jagran. When it comes to the English newspaper, the Times of India, which stands third among the newspapers which have largest circulation, Malayala Manorama stands fourth among the largest circulated uh, newspapers in our country. When it comes to the regional newspapers, the Telugu language newspapers, Inadu's largest circulated Telugu daily in our country. Sakshi newspaper also that stands uh, in the second position after the Inadu when it comes to the Telugu language newspapers. When it comes to the IRS report, Indian Readership Survey report, which was published uh, in May 2020, Dainik Jagran is the largest read newspaper in our country, according to the IRS. After that, Dainik Baskar stands the second largest read newspaper in our country, followed by Hindustan, which stands at third, Amar Ujala, then Malayala Manorama, Daily Tantri, then Lokmat, Rajasthan, Patrika. When it comes to the English newspapers, so Times of India is the largest read English daily in our country. And after the Times of India, Matrubhumi stands at 10th position according to the IRS report. When it comes to the, the regional newspapers Tel in Telangana, Inadu is the largest read Telugu newspaper in Telangana state followed by Sakshi, Andhra Jyoti and Namaste Telangana. When it comes to Andhra Pradesh, even in Andhra Pradesh, Inadu is the largest read Telugu newspaper followed by Sakshi and Andhra Jyoti.